Anthony and Doris Burp reporting from hey the guys, what is up? It is me, NSMB. We're back with another video. Oh, that voice cracked though. Uh, today we're uh, just discussing the Bruins schedule as Ooh, it has been tip. released. Right, Not the Bruins, the Celtics. Oh, this is a horrible Perry. start. Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that, guys. Um, so, Allison just a few things to talk about. There and are some key Foley games, stop. obviously, like uh, against the Hawks. It's it's obviously, Shot because Horford's sits. coming back, number one. Number two, we want revenge for them knocking us out in the playoffs. So, Ooh, Al Horford, speaking of a nice three there. Um, also, the first time we'll be playing the Lakers since 1995, I believe, without Kobe Bryant. But of course, so a huge rivalry. It's, it's going to be uh, pretty hype. So, other key games. I, I don't have exact dates right now, but you guys can go look at the schedule on the website. Um, I believe it's on the website. It's somewhere. It, it's everywhere. <laughs> but uh, the cows are visiting. We're going to the Cavs again. We remember last time what happened with Avery Bradley's uh, last minute shot. That was sick. I was watching that game. It's crazy. Uh, Kevin Durant coming to Boston. It's going to be a crazy game. Of course, uh, Jared Sollinger returning to the Celtics. He's on Toronto now. I don't miss him very much, but uh, I'm sure Toronto will heavily use him. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Uh, against the Nets, obviously. 76ers, just divisional matchups, really. Thomas kicks to Horford. And then the Knicks, Can't we get, get uh, the first look at the Knicks. I think that's the opening. Oh no, they, they play Knicks the on ball. Christmas Day. That's Four what it is. Game. That's going to be really exciting as well. Just to see, they pretty much Has have a stop. new team. <laughs> Saying they got a lot of good players, got rid of a lot of good players. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. But if I can pull this up real quick. Friday night in December, all right? We got five home games. We got versus Sacramento. Versus Toronto. Versus Charlotte. Versus Oklahoma. And versus Miami. It's pretty crazy. i be very excited for sure. It's all at home. It's all at home. So... Yeah, so you guys can see the schedule. Just search up somewhere. You'll find it easily. I'll put a link in the description if I remember to. But uh, the schedule is going to be pretty fun, though, especially on Christmas Day against the Knicks. That's going to be pretty, pretty fun to watch. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention. National TV appearances. 2014-15, the year they, they didn't make the playoffs. That's the only year since, like, 2006 or something like that, I'm sure. Uh, they had one TV appearance. National TV. And then the year after, the year they lost the Cavs in the first round and then got swept, they had, let's see, I'm trying to find it, seven. And this year, oh no. I'm sorry, guys, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, 2014 and 15 is, was one. The one he got swept by the Cavs. Last year was seven. And this year is 22. That's insane. Just shows how much uh, Celtics have evolved in the last few years. They're very fun to watch. And last year, people did not expect him to do this well. It was pretty insane. But, uh, yeah, it should be a really interesting season, honestly. There's a lot of fun games on the schedule. I mean, obviously, just me saying, we're going back to the Cavs, we're going back to Golden State, and not saying, like, what time. It's not, it's obviously not very informative, but I'm just pointing out, like, key games that you, that you should watch out for. And yeah, it's going to be really fun, especially December. December's schedule looks pretty nice. Oh, that's a nice shot by Carlson. <laughs> The ground right there. Oh, by the way, um, if you're wondering, this is NBA 2K16 on the PS4. I just picked a Rams team to play, honestly. I got the Celtics, but I'm not going to do Celtics versus Celtics. That would be really weird. I did random again, and I got the Sacramento Kings. I don't have much to say about them, because I honestly don't watch them very often. Ooh, look out, Warford. Getting up in Boogie Cousins' face. Definitely going to be a fun year though, that's for sure. I'm expecting a lot from this team. I'm hoping we can get past Toronto in the division. But I don't know man. They're a tough team to get by. Left to play in the first. That's with Kyle Lowry, DeMar DeRozan, Jonas Valanciunas, even DeMar Carroll. DeMar Carroll and Crowd are very, very good players, especially when they match up against each other. Because they pretty much play exact same. Pretty much, uh, Carroll has. Keep saying pretty much. Carroll has uh, a bit more off or a bit more defense. 
and Crowder has a bit more offense. But that's just my opinion. I do watch Raptors sometimes. It's always on TV. Plus, I like some of their players. They have a fun team to watch. Whoa. See if he can dunk. No, he's not. <laughs> Obviously not. I didn't expect him to dunk. Jeez, the Kings are not putting up a good performance against me right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really excited to see like how they play against the Knicks. I want to see if they can actually do well against the Raptors this year. And it's fun to see like how Demetrius Jackson do. I think that's his first name, yeah. Jalen Brown, of course. And I want to see how much Green produces. I know not many people aren't really expecting much from Gerald Green, but I think he's going to be a good contributor off the bench because he's pretty much replacing Evan Turner. People are saying, oh, Evan Turner's better. Better. Gerald Green's just in there for depth. We're never going to use him. He's going to be another David Lee. I honestly don't think so. I think he's going to be a good producer off the bench when they need him. Not too bad defensively. Jesus oh. Christ, cousin. I don't know why he's still on. Yes, there he is, Gerald Green. I already did a video on him, but boom, there we go. I like getting to the net. It's going to be interesting seeing him. Drafted by a Celtics. I forget if he played with them or if he got traded on draft day. But uh, should definitely be interesting. Him and Thomas are reuniting. I did a whole video on that. You guys can go check that out. 16-8, eh? It's supposed to be 16-10. There you go. I really don't have anything else to post about MK. 2K16 decides just talking about Celtics as they go along. I would do my career, but I've already got one set up. And I, to be honest, I'd rather do that by myself. It's a fun little game up to play, but I don't really feel like posting on YouTube, to be honest. Hope you guys understand. If you do want to see it, I could start a new one, but I just don't think it's really worth it. Let's go, Jalen. Get to the net like you do in real life. I watched him summer league. He's at the free throw line all the time, man. He gets to the rim. He drops contact. He's not afraid. Not the best shooter in the world, but definitely good defensively and likes to get to the basket. Here's Temple. Dishes it to Customs. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. So let's see if he can get these. And the first one at the line is good. I'm chuck it up with someone, and then uh, it's going to be the end of the video. So, so the let's see. Oh, I'm not doing smart smart. No thanks. No. How do I switch to brown? Is it like. Okay, fine. Be like that. Smart. If I get this, yeah, I didn't think so. Marcus Smart's bad. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.